Hi, this is Frankie from About Script, and in this video we're going to be learning how to use the GDI Plus graphics library. So I had a request on um, on the AutoHotkey forum to make a tutorial about it. It's a very complicated topic if you uh, if you just dive right in without any sort of instruction. So I hope this video will make it a little bit easier for people. I've also created a, a small um, wrapper for the library that makes it even easier to use by just putting a lot of common code in a few functions. So to start off, you're going to need to go to this page. The link will be in the description, so, so look for that. And where it says download GDI plus.ahk, you're going to right click and do save as. And you're going to go to your my documents folder. Assuming you have auto hotkey L installed, this folder should already be there. Then you'll need to go to um, your lib or library folder and save GDI plus uh, gdip.ahk there. Keep the file name exactly as you see it here. Then you're going to need to go over here and save this code into another file. Um, I'm calling mine, that's what I called it. I called it gdiphelper.ahk. So copy and paste to a text document and save it there as well. So now we have both of these files in our, um, in our lib folder. So we have GDIP and GDIP helper. So now we can start making a new file. And we can put that anywhere we like. I have mine in um, a folder I made just for GDIP stuff. So we're going to go to um, this file here. And this is going to be the base template. I'll upload this as well to GitHub so you can have this to start off of. So first we include um, GDIP, the main library. And then we include the helper. The helper gives us these functions here that we're calling. And right between um, between start draw and end draw is where we're going to put our drawing stuff. Now, uh, what GDIP has traditionally been used for is anytime you see fancy things on, um, on programs, like with custom buttons that look all flashy, like these and stuff, um, they're made with GDIP. It just lets you draw right on a window. Another thing that, that a lot of people do with AutoHotKey is they make windows with nothing on them. So here's an example of what we might build in this, this uh, video. So what it does is we run it, and you see we just have these things drawn right onto the screen. It's actually a window with no background. We're going to get more into that in just a minute. So uh, the way that it works is you create objects, and then you use those objects to do, um, to do things. Like here, we're going to start with just this one example and put it into our working document. So what we do is we set the smoothing mode. It just makes it look a little bit prettier. It's not actually necessary, so we'll just get rid of it. Um, and then we make a pointer to a brush. When we call this, we create the brush. It's a solid brush. There's also hatched brushes and all sorts of complicated things like that. And we have to give it a color. So when you make a color in GDIP, the first two say how, how um, opaque it is or how transparent. So if you said 0, 0 for that, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. And if you say FF, it'll be fully opaque. Then this first one is the red, the second two are the green, and the um, last two are the blue. Then we take this pointer to a brush, and we send it to fill ellipse. We give it um, the graphics object, which these help us create all that stuff. And then we give it the brush, so it knows what color to make it, and the X in the Y position, the width, and the height. When we're done, we have to make sure to clean up. So let's take this a little bit, and we're going to change this value to 5, this one to 5, and we'll leave those out of the R, and we'll run the program. Now you see, we have a fully opaque um, oval right here with the sizes that we made it. Now, another thing we can do is we're going to put this all into a hotkey. So we're going to make a hotkey control H, and we're going to end the hotkey right where it says return. We already have that there. And now what we can do is, um, since every time what we do is we, oh, we don't want to set it up every time though, so we'll move that out. That's the thing you call once. So we start drawing. We clear everything that we already have. Um, then we can make our brushes, do our drawing stuff, and then delete the brushes just to clean up. So what we can do is if we change this to a variable like x, we can have random 
x and give it a, a value between um, 20 and 300. And now when we run this, every time we press Control H, it moves to a random position in that range. So you could uh, animate something, you could have it go from, from left to right, you could have something, um, you can draw pictures with it, which we'll go into in another video if there's interest. Just let me know if you want to see that. And um, you, can, you can do everything. You can draw lines. You could have words appear on the screen. So if you wanted a little notification in the bottom, you could do that. And um, so if, if you're interested, let me know, and I'll make some more videos about this. This is just the basics, and I'll post this code exactly how it is. If you want to look for something particular, you open the gdip.ahk file, and in Site for Auto Hotkey, you press F12. Then you can type something that you're interested in, like rectangle. And you see we have draw rectangle and fill rectangle. And if you look, you have all these um, these elements. So it's the P graphics. Just put your G there. Wherever it says P graphics, put a G. Uh, pointer to a brush. X, Y, width, and height. So this ha happens to be exactly the same as our function here. So what if we just change this to rectangle? Run it. And now you see we have a rectangle instead of an ellipse. So um, just try playing with this code, modify it a little bit, and get ready for the next video where we're going to move into some more things like text and uh, lines and um, more fun stuff like that. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And make sure to see the code when I post it on GitHub. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.